In this video, I'm going to be replacing the battery in my Dell XPS 13. Got the battery right here, got it off of Amazon. I will have a link in the description. Got to put that in. A few tools I do know I need. I need the uh, Torx T5 bit. Very small, very small head on these. Uh, I'm pretty sure this uh, Phillips head screwdriver, or screw in there that I'm going to need the screwdriver for. A couple, few optional items. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to need the needle nose pliers to pull out the connection. Probably not, but it's here just in case. Two sets of glasses, because, you know, I don't see like I used to. And um, probably the most important tool I'm going to use, the two fists of drinker. Because I'm going to either need a drink if this doesn't work out, or I'm going to need a celebratory drink when everything works out perfectly. All right, let's take a look at this bad guy. Flip it over. Take at least one pair of glasses at this point. Get my torque driver in the handle and start taking these screws out. I think you've seen, if you've seen some of my other videos, how I use a screwdriver. Um, I always balance it on my stump and, you know, the first few times I saw it on video, I thought it looked kind of weird. But, um, you know, th this is the kind of thing, you just have confidence in yourself and if you're, we're all a little different, um, just try new things, give it a shot. So let's see how this comes apart. It just looks like, looks like it just pops apart. So we'll do that. Put that there. Out of the way. Old battery. And yes, it does take some Phillips heads to get it out. So let's take a look. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm using the wrong one. There are arrows that point to different screws and I would imagine that those are the ones you need to take out to replace the battery. Put that there. This has a very small Phillips head size on it as well. Uh, where's the next one? Uh, ooh, this one is very small. Yeah, I don't even have the right size there. So I'm going to have to get off Turn the camera off, get another screwdriver, and take that one out. Well, you can probably see what I got as a screwdriver, just something for glasses, to repair your glasses, and it fits perfectly, so let's use that. That is a tiny screw, though. Let's see, there we go. Okay, it looks like everything's off. Let's take a look. Yes, yes it is. Perfect. Anything else? No, everything looks kind of good. So, um, again, I'm not going to use, it doesn't look like I need to use the needle nose pliers. I wasn't sure going in. But this should just pull, yeah, it just pulls right out. Hope everyone can see that. There we go. That was relatively painless. Let's take a look at the two batteries side by side just to see if this older one had any swelling. Yeah, it, it has a little bit. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but there's definitely some swelling on this battery. So, all right, a little balancing act, literally. To hold that over there. And now let's plug this guy in. So what it looks like is, this needs to go that way. I don't like the way that... Yeah, that right in. Yep, I just had to flip that over and went right in. It's kind of odd though that it, it wasn't, it seemed like it wasn't molded correctly to be honest with you, but it is what it is. We'll see what happens in the editing room floor, as they say, with this video. But this thing pops right in fairly simple, you know, I gotta admit. It's, everything lines up very well. Just had a little mishap with the phone falling off of the stand. It didn't break, so I'm back at it. Let's take a look here. Put these screws in. Yep, so far, so good. I'm gonna put that one in last. The, uh, the one that required the, the glasses uh, screwdriver. Screwdriver for the glasses. That's the one I'm gonna put in last. So, 
Sometimes I like having magnetic screwdrivers. Sometimes they make it more of a pain. Because when you put this in, you, you kind of have it right where you want to sit, and then you go to hit it. Sometimes the screw will come up and dislodge from the position you put it in, but this won't work. All right, let's take a look. There's that. This one's going to be tricky. Nope, not at all. I'm sure my hand is blocking most of what you can see. It's in all four and no extra screws laying over there. Let's put the back back on. Let's get the back back on. Kind of snap together. Yeah. You hear some uh, feet kind of prancing around. All right, you can probably tell that the camera fell again. So now I have a trusty two-handed person helping me with the camera part. I don't usually trust two-handed people, but in this case, I guess I have no choice. Okay, here we go. Let's put these screws back in. All right, let's give it a shot. Lights are going on. That's a good sign. So here, here's what I definitely needed. I definitely needed the T5 Torx bit. Uh, I needed like a smaller ended flathead or uh, Phillips head screwdriver. I needed even a smaller screwdriver. This is one they use on like sunglasses. So, did not need the needle nose pliers. Only needed one pair of glasses. I'm glad about that. Ooh, make it sound. That's a good idea. That's a good thing. See, it's on. Perfect. Now, what I really need is that celebratory drink out of the two fisted drinker. So, I will be doing that later after the video. You don't need to see me drinking. But um, if you made it this far, thank you so much. I hope this helped. And listen, we're, we all have different. Uh, limitations in life, but we can do whatever we put our mind to, and that's what these series are all about. So if you made it this far again, thank you. Please like it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.